and welcome to my Xbox and me episode. I don't know because it's a prediction episode. Old. I'm one of your hosts, MC Fixer, alongside the one and only the man who only podcasts in the dark. It's too fresh, Crash. Ooh. I wish I had a switch for my lights so I could just turn them off completely. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I, like I had a lot of light in my room like five minutes ago. And then as soon as we started, all the like natural light just like went away. And now I just have yeah, to listen to my face. Awesome podcast. Yeah. I like yeah. it, Rich. I like it. Uh, the man who has risen from the dead once again, he has blessed us with his presence. <laughs> Mr. Five out of five himself is Matt P. Video. It's going to happen. One year, it has to happen. <laughs> never. It will and never no, happen. Possible. <laughs> no, it will never happen. Ever. Mm. Ever. Maybe ever. you could get like partial points on all your predictions, but you're never getting them all completely mm. correct. There was one year that I was like super tapped in on the industry and I knew so much stuff. And even then, I was like, should, should I just go for it? Just to, like... Oh, well, yeah. and I was like, it's not worth my career. This is not worth my career. This is it. it. The more you know, the harder the game is, ladies and gents. So there we That's go. That's big facts. That's mm -hmm. big facts. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, the man on the ones and twos who is flying the nest soon is Mr. Paul Despawn. I can't fly. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm stuck here. Okay. I say stuck here. Well, I'm just, staying here. Well done. Stay here. Stay here. Yeah. Look, I just want to get out of the way. I'm going on holiday again. All right. So. <laughs> You're seeing me on a... And look, let me just... I want to put this out here real quick, yeah? I'm not rich. Because people keep saying, oh, Fixer must be rich all of a sudden. No, I am not. The trip to Texas is not a real holiday, okay? You don't have to pay for hotels. I don't have to pay for food. I don't have to do anything like that. It's not a real holiday, all right? I want that on the record. Do you guys agree with me on this or not? Am I just being one of the... Am I... Am I have I lost touch? Have I lost touch? You, Guys, have I lost touch? <laughs> you lost touch. You lost touch. Oh, dear. That's, that's a holiday. That's a holiday. That's You're not so saying that. going to Texas, Albania not to see family, it's that's a holiday. holiday. I don't care. 100%. It's a holiday. I don't care. Oh, that. No, it's a holiday, but it's not you spending money in the same yeah. way that a holiday. Yeah, like, oh, no, no, yeah. 100%. Yeah, I, I think it's valid to go on that holiday and then be like, I want a holiday just to myself. But you're not going to sit there and say it's not a holiday. <laughs> I'm going to say you it's don't not enjoy it that much, but that's I mean, not how holidays work. I saw him. I saw him streaming. So I don't know. I feels worked. Like a work, feels like a work trip to me. I did work. I worked a lot. People work on holiday all the time because the so they don't the, have a good work life balance. Yeah. I'm going to say, here's the question. Can you, <laughs> since you streamed, could you like technically get your money back on your flights as a business expense? Hey, Spawn. Don't ask questions that I'm not able to answer on a okay. podcast. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Come okay. on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> If you didn't know, this is my Xbox and me, our weekly Xbox podcast. We talk about other things. Uh, you can come and support us over on patreon.com slash mcfixer. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow us on Twitch. And the question everyone's been asking is, are we doing live reaction content to open in night live? Matt and Despawn will not be. Uh, I potentially will be if my internet holds up in the hotel room. And Crash, maybe. So we'll see. The plan is yes. The plan is to do something, as always. But we will we will wait and see. Yeah. Crash, I mean, more than you, likely, I think I commit? will. Are you willing I to think commit? More than likely, I will be live for opening a night live. Okay. He said more you than likely. First. That's you heard it here first. That's <laughs> That's a it here first. That's wrong ass maybe. That's as strong. That's as strong as it gets. It's, look, it fixes internet is fine over there. It's a guaranteed yes. Guaranteed. If not, yes. It's more than likely yes. I think you and the community just hanging out shooting the shit would be good. Yeah. You are oh, you are a favorite on the podcast. I know. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. We, we I gotta show up with my fans. I was gonna <laughs> say we've seen the Apple podcast <laughs> reviews. Yeah, I gotta show up for my fans. You know what? I'm it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed I'm doing oh, it. Wow. Oh, shit. I, gotta show up for my oh, fans. I respect it. I respect it. I love it. Um oh. Uh, what else is there to say? Nothing really. We we let's do predictions, boys. Uh, we're doing five predictions each. Uh, no information that we already know, of course, uh, for people who are in the know. Um, and yeah, we'll go around round robin style. Um, I will kick us off with my <laughs> first prediction. Matt, you asked a question before we started recording. We're like, oh, how should we track this? And I just totally blew you off. How about mm. we just open a Word doc? Someone tracks what we're what we're predicting. Um, and then we will score the predictions. Oof. Maybe we can Oof. have like an argument episode where we score the points and like how much a percentage it should be. 
I like that. Fun. I, I want to fight my corner fun. on a lot of these. Yeah, yeah that could be fun. So, okay, just yeah. somebody write down the predictions. If I, got it, I got it. Thank right, you. Go. My first prediction is... Obviously, it's weird. It's a weird show. Open and Live, weird show, in my opinion, because sometimes they go big, sometimes mm -hmm. they go small, sometimes mm -hmm. they go indie, sometimes they bring out the cast. It wasn't them, really, but it was Game Awards. Bring out the cast of Fast and Furious to promote a film. You just don't know what you're going to get from Mr. Keeley, right? But one thing that I think I've noticed quite often at these showcases is we see one motherfucker who shows up quite often, and his name... Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, shit, thinking, that is not okay. what I thought you were going to no, say. <laughs> I think we will see something Sonic the Hedgehog related. Okay. Ooh. Now, you I'm not have... willing to commit on anything else from that. Other That's than mad. it could be, it could be a Towers game. It could be a Knuckles game. It could be a Knuckles 2 season 2 TV show. Can I be honest? When you said a Tales game, I wasn't thinking of the character. I thought of like Tales of the Borderlands or something yeah. like that. We don't talk about Borderlands anymore. It's dead to us. We yeah. all know that. That's a good point. It. Good point. Good point. We all need to watch that, by the way, for Rank and Every. I think that would be a great, oh. a great one. But we'll get on to that later. Okay. Do you want us to do um, the cinema, though? That is... Mm, oh, that'll be on direct. That'll be I'm on... Yeah. That, that, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll I'm be fine. Yeah. Um, Before the end of the yeah, year. That is, yeah. that is my first prediction. We will see something Sonic related at open night live question Matt uh, you are claiming all media you are claiming movies tv and games with that yes sir a little bit more narrow i i <laughs> mean a little bit more narrow you can make it a little bit more narrow i could but i'm not going to yeah i respect okay. it okay i respect it over to you crash over to me <laughs> Uh, okay, for my first prediction, uh, so Disney had its big showcase thing recently, and they notoriously showed next to no games other than Fortnite. So my prediction is we will see three Disney games at the showcase. Three's huge. Three's three. a lot. Yeah. Three. Okay. Wait, will one of this? Them. What do you think they're gonna well, be? Yeah. I think you'll get something Marvel, something Star Wars related, and then maybe something more like in line with Disney, Disney related. So. Question. Marvel Rivals doesn't count because they already announced that. I was so going to say, I'll are these... that out of the, uh, the, the which kind of hurts me. It hurts me. No, I give you that, you know. You give it to I me? I give you it. I was going to okay. say, well, uh, if you guys I are fine with that. it. I give you that. I will give you that. So yeah, I was going to say, my question is, are they three brand new announcements or are they no, just, just three, three games, big update, sure. updates okay. on the games or whatever, so yeah, just I'd show them. Marvel Rivals, yeah. I'd be okay with that. I'll give you that. I mean, if, give you that. if Fix can say something sega then you can say something about yeah, it you didn't say something <laughs> sega to be fair something sonic i sorry. said something sonic not okay. sega okay it's gonna be a vague who showed, ass prediction who episode. showed me who showed yeah. me my prediction too what the hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'm just trying to get two points in one go mm -hmm. i want to push you on it a little bit okay of like it's not yeah. that i think there's nothing wrong with prediction but i'm just interested in what you think is gonna be shown so obviously marvel rival is already going to be shown and then you've got what was the game they showed in Unreal Engine 5? That um, was uh, the the Black Panther and Captain yeah. America game. I think there's a chance for that. Uh, there was the rumored Daredevil game that maybe will pop up. I think you have a whole bunch of possibilities of like a mobile Marvel game or a mobile Disney game popping up. Oh, we can't I mean, add. A lot of, you can't add what? in there, like a Marvel ad comes in. That counts. I'll, I'll, I'll give you it. I'll, give I'll you let it. you guys decide on whether an ad counts. Max I think it depends no on what, like, if it's like a Marvel Snap ad, I'd say, like, def definitively, like, no. But I think I if it's, like, for a new game ad, I would I would make the argument yes, but I'd leave that up to you guys. I don't think it'd be fair for me to, like... That's what I was that. raising an eyebrow at, is Marvel Snap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Marvel Snap, they'll probably have a commercial for, I don't think. Unless they're, like, unless it's very clearly, like, a Marvel Snap segment and not a commercial... Which it'll more than likely just be a commercial. Let's be <laughs> real with that. If it's a Marvel Snap commercial, I don't think it counts. I think I'm converted. I think I think your quid's in on that one because I think was there's an Iron Man game out there somebody's working on, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of like Marvel yeah, specific right? stuff. Yeah. Yes. And so there's yeah. that. There's like you say, loads of Star Wars stuff. I think I think three I think yeah, initially I was skeptical, but I think I think you could have it. It's a good prediction. Okay. okay. Mr. Despawn, we'll go to you next. Okay, so yeah, I had to scrape the barrel a bit for this because uh, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm going to go for an easy one that I th 
Uh, I, I want a point. I just, you know, I'll get a point in as soon uh, as I can. Um, so I think this is all but confirmed that it's going to show up. I think we're going to get Red Dead Redemption on PC. Oh. Uh, announced. Uh, so for those who don't know. That's a good prediction. So for I those like who don't that. know. Yeah, so again, I'm going off of uh, not inside knowledge, but knowledge of what's going on in video games at the moment. Um, PlayStation basically leaked it mm -hmm. uh, by putting it on the PSN store that it's now out on PC. Uh, so I think due to that recent update and obviously games come being like less than a week away, I think it's a perfect time for it to show up. Um, I think usually we would say like Rockstar will just release a trailer on a random Tuesday. But I think mm -hmm. with it being Red Dead Redemption, like the original game coming to PC, I think it's, it's been like everywhere. But at this point, I think it'll just be a nice, like, you know, we'll get uh, we'll get some of those bells and whistles in the console versions as well. But I think it's just like, yeah, you know, it'd be a nice thing to show off at Gamescom. Do you think it launches? Do you think it's out now? I don't Only because it leaked on PlayStation like that, which would... Mm -hmm. I don't want to put that in my prediction, but... I, you're a I highly, because I'm a coward. Yeah, I highly. You know what? No, let me let me give you a different proposal. Go. On. Put in your prediction where it's going to come out. Like what launcher? Is it going to be Epic Game Store or is it going to be Steam? Put that in your prediction. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Let's get spicy. Yeah, I think it's going to be Steam. Although, mm. actually. I'll be honest. I think, has I think it could be their both. own launcher, no? Yeah, but they also launch through other storefronts. So, like, if you launch GTA Five from Steam, it then just launches the launcher to then launch. GTA. I don't know. It's weird. It's the same thing that Cyberpunk does. Weirdly. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, and I think I a few other games. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's just, it's just free, does it as well? Yeah. Yeah, it's an extra hoop that's a little, yeah, a little weird. It's just a well, double it's driven, right? It's data. They just they yeah. get to data as well. Is the thing I would assume. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, no, I think yeah, I could to be to be honest, I could see come to both. But uh, yeah, no, I think you know what I felt uh, I felt offended by Matt and you know personally challenged. I'm gonna put it, it's gonna release now. I like it. I like it. Not right now. You, like, you, uh, you probably knocked your down, self down to a half a point. Yeah. Say, bro, when we get to there and they're like, it will release today, I'm going to be like, these ones are going to the point. He said it releases now. 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 Yeah. now. Not today, now. Or, well, you know what I meant. It's going to release yeah. the day of announcement. I think it'd be a okay. shadow drop. All right. I just want to say Matt finagled you out of a point right yeah, there. Probably. Right probably. There. Almost 100%. definitely, in fact. That's how I play the game. If we all end on zero, then we're all winners. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, last one, not least. Wait, is it me again? No, no, it's oh, no. It's Matt, it's Matt, it's it? Sorry, I'm going some weird order. Oh, yeah. Listen, I think I think what just happened there. Despawn's expecting you to get no points, so he's like, exactly. just, yeah, skip just skip it along. Yeah. Exactly. Despawn had the exact same reaction as the rest of the My Xbox and Me audience, okay? They know I'm, my prediction is coming up. They roll their eyes, okay? How many years we've been doing this podcast now? I've never scored a single point on a Jeff Keighley well, prediction episode. It's it's not so much that I think your predictions are going to be wrong. It's the fact that I think after this week, you're going to be disappeared for another six months, so it doesn't matter. Mm. At least two months, but let's talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> the point is, right, some people play this game with their heads and some people play with their hearts, okay? And if at the end of my career on the internet, I can turn around and say, I played with my heart and never scored a single point, then I'll die happy, okay? okay. I mean, I'll be honest, if you play with your heart, you're probably going to die quickly. Um, it's a fair point. Got you there. It's a fair got point. Don't play with hearts. But this first prediction comes so much from the heart that it might give Crash a heart attack. Lies of P DLC announcement. Ooh. Come on, Keely. Ooh. Come on. Come on. I it's think that was possible. I could see it being possible. I think that was possible. I'd love if that happened. Oh my God, I'd go crazy. I know. I know. I'd love that I'd for you. Why? You're, a, you're an Elden you're Lord You're a Souls now. player now. You're an Elden Lord. That's a good point. I was thinking, do I go back to uh, Liza P now? It's so no, good. So All good. Shadow of the Earth Tree made me, it made me want to replay uh, Lights of P, if I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. How exciting. Yeah, we yeah. should be replaying. I'm playing through Like a Dragon. I already started playing that up. I picked that up again, so don't worry about My it. My God, there, go. there we go, Grace. Okay. We're going to go another week on the podcast. What are you saying? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, I like it. I like it. Um, all right, my next prediction, probably a safer one, I guess. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I think we will see an extended look at the new Streets of Rage game, the new Crazy Taxi game, and the new Golden Axe game. I believe there's one more in there. I think it's Jet Set as well. Jet Set Radio, um, yeah. I think that whole package where they showed the Sega stuff, I think they will show all of those titles in a more extended way. Fair. See, I, I told you. Just choosing Sonic and Sega. Sega, Sega! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much, huh? Um, maybe so, the only reason that I think that's unlike like i don't think you, i think you could see like a, a two minute trailer for the four of them do you know what i mean and, and like in a package deal i don't think we get like a deeper dive look i think if they do well, that they release that as a part of a gamescom thing or even part of xboxes like live from gamescom you know coverage and yeah. stuff what do you consider an extended gameplay look yeah that's more that's than what we get oh, we got a sizzle reel last time mm. now I so if it's another sizzle reel, reel as long but different that's gameplay? Do you count that? You don't count that? No, that's a okay. That's what I think you get. I said what I said. I know. I respect it. He did. He I, said I, it. I, I, just, um, I just don't think Jeff has bit it, like he hasn't hyped this up at all. Yeah. If I'm being honest. Like the mm. the, the conversation uh, around this open night live as a whole, I think it's been quite lackluster, if I'm mm. honest. To, to be fair, if we look at the summer's game fest show, Jeff Keeley wasn't really hyping that up either. He did say it was like an eight or whatever, and I would argue that wasn't accurate. But he wasn't really hyping that up either, you know. I'm just saying. That's fair. They've gone quiet. I think they're going to have these smaller but impactful in my life announcements, and ultimately, oh, all these predictions are things that want to happen. So let's see. <laughs> my next prediction. Uh, Blue Protocol, which is an MMO that's released in Japan. It's being made by Bandai Namco. I believe here we'll get a global release date. We'll get another trailer for it. We'll get a global release date for when it's coming out to English territories and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's my, my second prediction. Yeah, Blue. Boring. Blue. Blue. Where's, where's Killer Instinct? Blue. Oh, God. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's this game called? Blue, Blue Protocol. Protocol. Anyone heard of it other than Crash? The name is familiar. That's about it. I feel like I've Don't seen the trailer I... for it before, and it looked. Mm. Am I remember I believe... remembering it correctly? Is it very like Hoya versus? It's anime. Yeah, 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 it's very anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I am an anime fan now, Crash. By the way, what did, what anime did you watch? If I've watched two seasons of something, does that make me an anime fan? Of the same anime? Yes. No, it makes you a fan of that anime. Of that show, yeah. But I also watched one, three episodes of One Punch Man. Like in 1995, who cares? <laughs> no, that, no. <laughs> I watched an anime called Rise and Impact, and I've watched season one and two. Oh, that's the golfing anime, right? I love it. I think it's amazing. You should, You would probably really like most sports anime. There's I'm, a basketball one. There's a crash. volleyball one. Crash. Sorry, downloaded from my flight, mate. Sorry, done. Have you? Okay, already good. Done. Yeah. Already done. Already yeah, yeah, yeah. done. I think you'd mate. like yeah. them. I think you'd like them. I think they're, there's a they're boxing one. There's a yeah, boxing yeah, yeah. one. There's one about a tournament, about this guy that turns into a demon. I'm ready, man. Strap it. I'm the anime. I just want to here. point out the last one you said <laughs> applies to so many anime. Oh, yeah. He turns into a demon. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, guys. I'm just Sam. I'm just Sam. Uh, Who's next? next? Uh, that'd be me, right. I believe. It'd be you. Go on. Uh, oh, I think because we know that we know that Keeley loves to bring TV shows to a gaming conference. I think we're going to get an extended look. I say an extended look. I think we're going to get a look at Like a Dragon TV show. It's not where I thought you were going. Okay, I think. I, I think it will suck. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. I'm not. I'm Do you not, think it's gonna suck? I'm not that convinced by it at the did moment. You the, did you see the quote just came out about it? That they didn't like, but like a dragon isn't something that I would assume you need to play the games to be able to act them correctly. Disagree. You disagree yeah. entirely. Okay. Yeah. The whole fun of that game for me is how quickly it can go from being silly tone, uh -oh. dumb to but that, flip on its head serious but that's not on the actor 
that aspect is not on the actor. That aspect's on the director. And I don't mm. believe the statement came from the director. It came from the actors. Yeah, but like you can have the actors know the source material. Yeah, I guess you're right. I get what you're saying. Fallout turned out well enough. None of them have played the game. That's not true. The director loved the game. The actors played yeah. the game as well. As, not all of them. Morton Morton Goggins Goggins yeah. I, think, yeah, I don't see, and, I don't uh, see Morton Lucy Goggins did. playing. Yeah. The, the <laughs> like one uh, Brotherhood of Steel guy who... Yeah, you, was kind what, of the main actor? Yeah. No, he didn't play it either. <laughs> he didn't? I thought I saw an interview saying he his, played it. His mate who comes and, you know, squires for him, he played it. He's a big uh, nerd. Fair. He watched... The, that, that Brotherhood of Steel guy watched like Twitch streams and stuff like that, I think he said. Oh, That's good enough. Get, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah sure. But I, I, what I'm saying is I agree with you. I don't think actors need to have experienced the game to pull it off. I think it's far more on writers and directors to get the tone, understand the story, and all those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they did that with Borderlands. Like, what happened? Well, Borderlands had well, Randy Pitchford attached to it, which is problem number one, let's be honest. <laughs> well, you're going to get blocked on Twitter, my friend. Um, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, how will I, I get agree. my shift like, codes? Good point. I, yeah, I think Borderlands, yeah, went from like a 18 the shooting decided to go they're, down to like a pg and stuff right and so like they're, you can look they're, at who they cast and they didn't cast actors to like portray the roles they cast actors to get butts and seats yeah Kevin Hart's an amazing actor what do you mean how dare you sir as roland what in no world would anybody ever predict the good casting for roland is kevin hart there's no universe that that happens other than somebody who works at a studio who's like we need to get butts and seats cast kevin hart i can't argue with you there Oh, we agree that Yakuza is going to be bad despawn, right? Uh, I don't imagine it being great. Fair but nice. I do think it will be at Gamescom opening in Light Live. Well, there we go. Okay. Ah. There we go. Uh, I predict that we will see more from Light No Fire. This is the, uh, the next one from the people behind No Man's Sky. I think Sean Murray... <laughs> During that, uh, you look at Light No Fire, will say something that makes everybody go, Sean, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> something along the lines of, this is our most ambitious thing ever. This is our the biggest game world that's ever existed. This is the biggest blah, 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 biggest and best. Something along those lines that just make everybody go, oh my God, dude, stop putting your shoe in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. I could see more. Yeah. Kind of boring. Oh, okay. It was. It was alright. It was alright. Yeah. yeah, I'll spice it Mr. up. Next year. <laughs> Mr. Something Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm gonna say Mr. Something Sonic, Mr. Something Sega. Prediction. <laughs> Prediction. All, all right, Mr. Like Mayo it? Spicy. <laughs> I think that we will see one first-party title, brand new t- game from the publisher. You may have heard of them. They're called PlayStation. Not a clue. Are they an indie game? Brand new first party title. Not new IP. I'll, I'll add a new IP. Oh, okay. okay. You think new IP. That's a spicy prediction. First party that is very spicy. Well, Gorilla, I, 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 didn't I hear that Gorilla are working on a new IP? You want to you wanna make your prediction Gorilla? New Gorilla no. game? No, because that, <laughs> that makes it hard to make it out of points. Matt's just trying like, to weasel everybody out of points. He's just like, 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 nobody deserves anything here. Yeah, Matt's got his hole and he's just like digging under, like <laughs> underneath everyone else to bring him down. For sure. Oh, no, for sure. I'm, not, I'm not willing to do that, but I do think we're going to... I think PlayStation will be here in a in a way. In, I think a new game announcement gets them back on the side of... I think there's a lot of people out there being like, what the hell is going on on PlayStation right now? To be honest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, to be fair, there have been rumors going that PlayStation does have stuff to show yeah. and they will show it. So I wouldn't be too surprised if something ends up getting announced here just to sort of keep a little bit of hype going for PlayStation. Um, there we go. PlayStation published first party brand new IP shown at opening night live. Yes. It's a good one. It's a good one. If you had to pick a studio, who would it be that you think would be showing their new game around this time? Sucker Punch. Oh, Blue Point. Blue Point is Blue where point my brain is where went my as head well. goes to. Mm. You're right. Mm-hmm. Blue Point is when what what have and they then, done since? Because they were working on remakes, right? Then they yeah. made, they were working on something new. Yeah. So 
So Blue yeah, point's where my head goes. I, I mean, the- what if it's Bloodborne 2 and you lose your point because you I made you put new IP in and everybody else loses their mind? It'd be worth it. It'd be worth the loss of It'd be point. worth it. It'd be worth it. Yeah, not yeah. for me. Not Bloodborne for you. Was, Bloodborne was fine. How much of Bloodborne did you play? 10 to 15 hours. But it was his game of the year that year, so what are you going to do? No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Fresh. You can't fault him for thinking it was your game of the year. Why? That's a you move. That's a you move. <laughs> That's a you move. Back in 2015, it wasn't. No, it's a, it's a whole new move for him now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, my prediction. Let's see. What are we going to go with here? Um, I'm going to predict we're going to see an Xbox first party show up here. And it's a very specific Xbox first party that uh, has been missing from the public eye for a very long time. Some people could guess whether it actually ever existed. Uh, Everwild will make it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. No way. You just yeah. lost the point there. That's yeah. never happened. I think so, but. Everwild, no way. Everwild. It's got to show up somewhere. I'm it's like. Been- does it? We saw more of State of Decay, and if I'm not mistaken, we saw Everwild before State of Decay, correct? Mm-hmm. They got announced this... No, they didn't get... No, State of Decay got shown first. Do you think? State of Decay no. 3? No, there's no. they either got yeah. shown at the same time, or Everwild got shown before State of Decay 3. I thought Everwild was before State of Decay. Yeah. No, because it was at that PlayStation showcase thing, where they were announcing the series consoles. Mm. And they showed like a concept art of like Fools are... State of Decay. Um, oh, what they, else got shown? They announced the series consoles at Game Awards. Yeah. No, yeah. I know that. What I'm saying is they did like a showcase after that. Right. And they showed off State of Decay then, but it wasn't in, it was just the CGI yeah. trailer. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I'm pretty sure and Everwild the, was either the there E3, or before it that. Been there. It might have been there. Okay, yeah, possibly. Yeah, maybe it's either right. there or maybe before. Right. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I might be wrong. Again, I've... Uh, my my head isn't always on the right time. Ooh. Question: Does yeah. it look good, Crash? <laughs> <laughs> is that, this isn't part of my prediction, but no, no, no I'm just interested. Good. I'm just interested. No, I don't think it looks good. Oh no! no. Maybe. Red don't miss though. Red don't miss. Honestly, right? I, can we talk about? I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. We can move on to the next prediction. Uh, go on. Okay, uh Everwild was announced the year before State of the Gate as well. Uh okay. I was just gonna say, like, okay. uh you could argue that Sea of Thieves at launch was a miss. No. They turned it around. They turned it around. I disagree. I disagree. I, I disagree. I'm, I'm not saying it's hundred percent. I'm just saying you can make an argument for it being a miss at launch. Sea of Thieves at launch was fun still. Mm-hmm. It's better now, but it was fun at launch. It wasn't oh, yeah. broken. Yep. So yeah. it was. It Wait, was a metric- pirate game with no treasure, but. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I didn't know the only metric we judge a game of being good or bad is: is it broken? No, I mean, no, I'm not. So- it didn't used to be, but um, over the last few years, maybe. Since the day before, we've changed our metric. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the day before, I think the qualifying fact there is, is it a game? That's the point. <laughs> the, should we... before, the answer is no. I was going to say, should we change our review scale and put number one as the day before? The day before. I thought yeah. we did talk about that. Can I go next? Because it kind of ties into what we're talking about. Or then. Can I skip you, Despawn? I I'm mean, so sorry. fine. I think we will see another look at Crimson Desert, which is that kind of dragon's dogma looking game from the black desert oh, online yeah. devs oh, that yeah. whenever they show anything from that game people go this is too good to be true <laughs> and i am somewhat inclined to believe them mm-hmm. um and agree but uh yeah day before kind of reminded me of that i, I do have it up here on my list as well um I, but yeah i think we see more i think you see game of crimson desert here uh, I don't think that's like okay. that. Okay, I'll spice prediction. it up for you. I'll spice it up for you. I wasn't even asking. Okay, no, no. Spice away. I'll take your bait, Crash. Okay. Release window Ooh. on the end end card there of Crimson Desert gameplay uh, showcase. If there's an open beta, do you consider that a release window? Oh, that's interesting. If it launches in early access um, or yeah, some sort of beta. Hmm. 
I, I mean, I would certainly be up for a fight if we're going to debate and argue whether or not I should be allowed, uh, you know, points of point, you know, mm. decimals of points or whatever. Um, but no, I'm going to stick to release window because I okay. think like because they've got Black Desert online and that's their like thing. I don't know if they'll go for an early access beta, you know, like all those things. I think like they'll want it to be a single player standalone. I mean, maybe that's that's the complete opposite way I should be thinking now that I'm saying it out loud. But I'm going to stick by it for the purposes of this. All right. Okay. Do you spawn? Um, in what will probably sound like a rehash of my previous uh, prediction... Uh, I'm sticking with Like a Dragon, and I think we're going to get a new game announcement. Yakuza Wars? I believe, I don't know if it'll be called Yakuza Wars, uh, but I think it is going to be a new game. Because I was looking at this when I was writing out my prediction, I was like, did we get a new Yakuza game? I was like, nah, it's been like six months since we got the last one. But then I looked and like, the Yakuza games come out like every year to two years. There's a new Yakuza game. I think an important thing to note is that of the last few Yakuza games that came out, one of them was like a remaster or something along those lines. Yeah. Um, and one of them was part of a different series or like it's part of the Yakuza series, but it's part of like a different branching up branch of the storyline or whatever the case is. So like hey, they've I, come I, out real recently that I don't know. I'm not going to argue, yeah. argue, argue I mean, out of your prediction. I just, I'm, I guess I'm not saying it's like the mainline sequel to but just uh, a, Infinite like, Wealth. It's going to be something within the Yakuza slash like a dragon uh, series. Karaoke oh, game. You think it, I mean, they're all karaoke games. If you, play the same for long. <laughs> matt stop you're not finagling me out of a point i know what you're gonna do no i wasn't i wasn't <laughs> gonna say anything I, what i was gonna say is and, and this is coming from somebody who's never played a yakuza game or like a dragon game so maybe i'm way off but i can imagine some sort of like wario wear party game in that world just because there's so much variety and all the like mini game and weird side quest shit i'd enjoy that i miss no. mario way no just just play yakuza like just a dragon yakuza, please yeah no, I refuse. What do you mean, no? Maybe I'll get to it at some point. I don't know. Jeez, Lord. I mean, look, we, all, we are weirdly already coming up on the end of the year. Oh, and yes. apparently that's like I a know. game of the year thing that I need to play. And uh, mm -hmm. we'll see. Crash, you've been playing it. Is it a game of the year contender? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> yeah it's a year it's like you can't argue against it being a game I, already, of the year contender. Like, <laughs> I already knew that was the case i already knew yeah. that was the case good i'm glad uh my next prediction um i've got a couple um let's go with the boring one i think we will see resident evil 9 i don't think we will see resident evil 9 but <laughs> Is this one of those heart of a head things? Uh, yeah, I, I, again, I just don't see them announcing it here, but I, I, I would like to see it, so I'm going with it. Obviously, there was some rumors uh, a while ago about it being shown at the last opening night live. Um, don't think it's a game that will be shown at either platform in terms of Xbox or PlayStation. Capcom are not really doing their own showcases. Mm -hmm. The only way I could see this showing up at like an Xbox showcase is if they showed it at Tokyo Game Show. And they've got the, you know, the third party letters in for that. Don't yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. the case. So, yeah, Resident Evil 9, obviously, I think it's a big get, right? So the last few Resident Evil games were announced. Remake 3 was announced by PlayStation. Mm -hmm. I can't remember Remake 4. Who announced that? If I'm being totally honest with you. Me neither. Well, it must have been Capcom's own showcase, right? I don't think it was. Mm. No? I don't Cap think so. PlayStation yeah. State of Play. It was yeah. PlayStation. Okay, so PlayStation have, have been the ones who've shown it lately. Most Resident Evil games. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm off beat here. But I don't know. I just feel like they need to show the next number game on a big, big sc uh, scale. Mm -hmm. um, State of Play is just so far and few between. So yeah, I, I would love it if they showed it here, but I don't, I don't know. I was going to say, do you consider Opening Night Live to be big enough for that? No. Or would you consider that a Game Awards at the end of the year thing? Game Awards would make a lot more sense. Mm. But we're predicting also, it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, we're just going to keep using the same prediction until it gets announced. Is what we're well, I will I, say I, that. I used to do that, so, yeah. you know. <laughs> Resident Evil seems to religiously be revealed at PlayStation Defense as well. It does. Mm. Yeah. 
but things can change. No, no, I, absolutely accurate. I think remember Capcom, that, remember that? So go on. No, please, please, please. I was going to say, I think Capcom's like big marketing beat is Monster Hunter right now. And I, I think they won't distract from that. And I think if somebody was to predict Monster Hunter, I'd call them boring. Well, it's already been announced. Monster Hunter's a guaranteed. Oh. It's already yeah. been announced that they should have Monster Hunter. So. There we but go my next. next prediction is... <laughs> go on. Uh, my next prediction is... Uh, this Monster one's uh, close <laughs> close to home. Oh, God. <laughs> not going to happen prediction, but... <laughs> I can't be on a prediction episode and not predict this game. Uh, Killer course. Instinct is going to be announced at uh, opening night live. Yeah, I'm not spicing up this prediction at all. This is going to be a bare bones prediction. Killer Instinct announced. I'm not going to say whether it's going to be a remake. I'm not going to say whether it's a new game. Just a Killer Instinct announced. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. We'll allow it. Oh, so only fix is allowed Sonic. Yes, yeah. fix. You can't. You have no legs to stand on. Oh, OK. Well, they Apparently, Matt P, who dies every six months, um, is now telling me <laughs> what, what he's allowing. Interesting. Damn right I am, Mr. Okay. Um, there will be a Sonic. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said something Sonic something the Hedgehog related. related was what you mm-hmm. said, which is what Matt said, only in a, in a more cheerful, happy way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're the way Matt said it. Sonic. We're, not, we're not happy with my Sonic prediction? Uh, I mean, we're allowing it, apparently. The, spot, hmm. the Sonic prediction is the same way white people cook. There's no spice no at all in that shit. Yeah. There's no seasoning whatsoever. I respect it, Crush. I respect it. Like, it's, it's, yeah, almost like just, yeah, it's almost like if you just said um, Resident Evil something. No, but I wouldn't do that. That would be even more, that would be more you, spicy than Sonic, though. But if they like showed Netflix so? season two of yeah. that bullshit. Right now, shit. yes. Yeah, uh, Resident Evil something is more spicy than Sonic right now because they have Monster Hunter. You guys are haters. A little bit. You hate Sonic. No, for sure. I, I would never hate the Sonic community. I'm speaking directly to you. I would never hate on Sonic. <laughs> Me? No way. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. I've got a button for this. Get him told, Crush. I really, from the bottom of my heart. To every Sonic fan out there, I would never in a million years disrespect our Lord and Savior, Sonic the Hedgehog. So if you got problems with anybody on this podcast, see Fix, see Matt, Matt or see Despawn. Don't oh, see wow. me. I love Sonic. He's my favorite mascot, my favorite character, my favorite video game series. Go Sonic, go. Huh. What do you think of Sonic okay. Colors? Great game. Freshly just lost all credibility in yeah. this entire, no, his know, entire no. career. It's Even over. Sonic fans don't like Sonic Colors. Mm-hmm. In fact, Big they Sonic specifically. Hmm. I, I mean, actually, no, like you Sonic fans, you guys know what you're talking about. <laughs> if you hate it, I hate it. We all hate Sonic Colors. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Play both sides of the fence now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Who's it. next? Uh, I think it's Despawn. Um, that'd be me, okay. yeah. Oh god, I'm getting really stretching uh like the bottom of the barrel scraping those words. Yes. Let's go with something I don't care about but I think might happen. Hmm. We've just had the alpha. I think we're going to get a 2KXO open beta announcement. Sure. Hmm. 2KXO I think did show up in if not the last opening night live, maybe hmm. game of- it definitely, definitely feels like a Keely thing. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I didn't see Riot listed anywhere, so yeah. But uh, I could, mm. I could see it. Although, yeah, like with the, just have the closed alpha, I could see them announcing like a beta coming up soon. But again, I don't know if I'd like to say I'm not basing this on any knowledge or facts. I just think I was I running think out of things to predict and boring and bland. Despawn. And that's what your prediction is. Uh, okay, I'll go for my more spicy one of the two because I feel like I back <laughs> yeah. myself into a corner. Yeah, <laughs> do that. Yeah. How do I want to phrase this? So as that spicy it, as it possible. Works. I think we get... God, oh, this isn't going to fucking happen. But I think we get... <laughs> that's what you love before a prediction. <laughs> Hugh Jackman on stage... Oh my god! To announce, to announce, to show off Wolverine gameplay from Insomniac. (laughs) Not that he's a part of it. No, 
<laughs> He's just there to show it off. There'll be He's some pass, throw out. The torch. There'll be some throw out to Deadpool three and the multiverse of Wolverines, and we're excited for the next Wolverine thing. Here it is. Nah, I think you're more likely to get Henry Cavill. He was a good Wolverine. I just want to say one thing that. about his prediction. Go on. It's dog shit. <laughs> like, but it'd be it'd be pretty hype, wouldn't it? No. I don't know if it would be hype. No, be it wouldn't. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be hype. I'd be pretty hyped. Yeah, because you you pop for anything. You're like a well, cheap first of wrestling all, fan. <laughs> Matt Matt would be hyped because there's finally an actor on stage. I think since Matt's been making predictions about actors, there's been no actors on stages for video games. It was it was a throw up like, between this and and actually probably what's more likely, Keanu Reeves on stage showing off Sonic Three trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Well, I actually, think I predicted that before. Mm. Oh I Jesus! But no, Matt. What I want you to keep doing for all of these predictions that we do is keep predicting Hollywood celebrities are going to turn up, because if Crash is right and it's actively stopping them doing it, I just, yeah, please keep <laughs> it going. Uh, but also, bear in mind, Despawn, if if Keanu Reeves shows up on stage, if Hugh Jackman shows up on stage, that means you are in Cologne with those people next week. And you could bump into a Hugh Jackman or a Keanu Reeves. And then wouldn't you be excited that I... Who cares? You wouldn't care to meet those guys. They seem lovely. I, 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 I mean, I'd, I'd like respect them as actors. Yeah. Well, I, I, me, I couldn't give two shits. I'm a fan from a distance. Mm-hmm. Chris, you're a New Yorker. You don't give a fuck. You would see oh. J. Cole walking down the street and be like, oh, shit, there's J. Cole. Don't. I'll be, I'll oh, be honest you with you. Yeah. <laughs> Half of my excitement would be, oh, this will bang on TikTok. <laughs> See that, but that's yeah. that's, a that's an easy win for me. Mm-hmm. That's different. If you're there from a work perspective, and all right, this is going to blow up content-wise, I can totally get behind it. But if you're saying Corey, yo, Hugh Jackman's over there, right. okay, good for and him. <laughs> like, yeah, hope he has a good time. <laughs> yeah, uh, met my celebrity heroes, Greg Miller. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> P money, <laughs> like you know, like generally. Once I met certain people, everybody else was like, ah, "I don't care." Mm. I'm I'm the only one. There's only two people that could get me go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Nowadays, I think David Beckham. Okay, let's see if we can all guess the other one. So go round. We we each get one guess. Eminem, that'd be cool. It's a- um, you already know. Drake. You've ruined the game for us all. If you crash. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm just talking Father. without a shadow of a doubt. It's <laughs> Father Christmas. I think it's Drake. No, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, fair enough. Yeah. The Enigma. There ain't celebrities like Eminem anymore. No. That's fair. Hugh Jackman, you could meet him at some press junket at some point. Eminem, you don't see him out there doing press anymore. So that's what my next prediction is <laughs> you know what if you made a prediction that eminem is going to be performing on stage as they show off call of duty no. that's a possibility i've got one bell strange okay. things happened my prediction is we are going to get a new def jam icon game and eminem is the star of it and he comes out on stage and presents it you know why it makes no sense because he's not even signed a def jam <laughs> That's true. It's not. But that would be hype if we got a new Death Jam icon game. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'd give you the point just for that. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have a super duper bonus point if Eminem shows up. I don't know if you know Fix, but if I recall, Snoop Dogg owns Def Jam now. He does. So I think that having Eminem or like other artists what, on a game like that M is more Drake? likely. Do you know what? Screw it. There's a new Def Jam icon game. It's coming out. It's going to be announced at Open Night Live and Snoop Dogg's going to come on stage and announce it. Boom. That's not That's not completely out of the realm possibility. No. It actually isn't. No. Yeah. If that happens, I will shit myself. <laughs> if, you, if that happens, I can tell you no matter how many points I get, I'm succeeding it. I'm succeeding it. Like, it's yours. I don't want to win. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Do you reckon they could get the rights to, like, DMX? He was signed to Def Jam. Do you think they would, like, let us, like, bring him back to life? Is that, is that distasteful? I think that's distasteful. Wait, but you Man. say... No, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. 
But they do it with boxings. Boxers in boxing games. Yeah, you got legends. In boxing. There, there's a difference with boxing only because boxing, like that, is what they that were. Was like sport. that was their career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's what they did. If you bring yeah. somebody back from the dead to beat up on people, and that's and get beat up. Like I think the like, getting beat, beat up part is like bringing yeah. somebody back from the they dead also, to get they beat all, up. They did used to be gangster rappers though. Yeah, sure, 100. They continued rapping because they wanted to be gangsters. So let me get this straight: it's okay for them to go through their old archives, sample their music, you know, it, cut lines here, there, and everywhere to make a song, but bringing them if, back in a video game with a you, bitch slap a hoe is a problem. Yeah. If you ask me, I think Def Jam's less of a problem than the thing you said. Yeah. But the thing you said is so <laughs> fucking normalized that what's the point of arguing against it? Okay, I'm just wanting to put that out there. Gresh, yeah. on, on to your next prediction. My next prediction, um, we're going to have another Xbox prediction. Oh. Uh, so Xbox the Xbox podcast. showcase happened. That's crazy. Uh, Xbox, yeah, you know, I just thought, you know, I got to show up for Xbox. Um, I'm an idiot. So showcase, a lot of stuff got shown at Xbox last showcase. Something that wasn't there, um, seemingly missing, was contraband. Oh. And I feel like this is a good place to bring back contraband either for, I'm not going to say specifically a closed beta, open beta, some sort of like chance to play the game. You'll see some gameplay or something like that. But I do think contraband will show up back at uh, will show up here. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Does anybody care? <laughs> Good talk. Good talk. I mean, uh, I need to see the game, right? Care, right? Uh, it's a, yeah, we need to, I need to know what the game is mm. before I can care about said it's game. Like a, it's, it's supposed to be like a heist game or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, but we don't know that yet because we've not That's seen good. it. That's a good point. That's a good point. You know? Who's once played it, right? No? Contraband. No, you're on the back. No. You're not on the back. Con- Concord. Concord, you're thinking of. Cool, yes. I said of course Xbox, I am. Yep. Matt, yep. <laughs> not nope. PlayStation, Matt. That's on me. It's on me. Too many con games, you know what I mean? <laughs> Too many cons. That's what I've always said. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bring back con car either, because that would be a problem for you. <laughs> con card, yeah. Contraband, Conker's Bad Fur Day. All the same game. Yeah. Con Air, the video game. That, yeah. that would slap. Con yeah. Air, the video know? game? Hey, okay, can I go on a tangent real quick? We got, we got time on this podcast this week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Do we not think a H- Hunger Games was slept on as an IP? 100%. Not, I, did you see my tweet? I saw you tweet no. this. Yeah, I totally agree with you. We didn't like it or retweet it. Uh, I'm sure I liked it. I don't think you did. My, my engagement is down right now on Twitter. Oh, I really need the help, guys. Come I think, on. I, I think <laughs> the problem is like people are leaving Twitter and mess. There's probably less people who used to engage with your content on actively on the platform. I think so. that's true. I think Hunger Games... Um, well, I think there's probably loads of reasons it didn't happen. One of them, I think, maybe is, and I don't know how much people in the industry uh, Wait, kind of pay attention to this, but go on. Can I quickly just preference because people might not have saw my tweet? So sure. can I just quickly? Of course. So if, if anyone who didn't see my tweet, I tweeted out that so Netflix announced that Hunger Games was coming to in the UK, was coming to in the UK Netflix, mm-hmm. and I tweeted out that the games industry slept on Hunger Games as a video game IP. I got a bunch of responses from people being like, we didn't need Hunger Games because we got Fortnite and blah, 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 blah. I never once mentioned the word Battle Royale. Mm. Once. So carry on, Matt. Uh, what, what I was going to say is that I think like Minecraft modding did it really quickly, really, That's really true. well. Um, and so that maybe hurt the idea of it a bit, although it really should have just helped it ultimately. Um but yeah, I totally agree with you. I think it's a massively slept on franchise as a whole. I don't necessarily think everything in it is good. Did um, you see the new film? But I watched yeah. it on the plane going to America. Oh, yeah, no. not great. Oh, no. Not great. I was very disappointed. I'm going to make an argument against the Hunger Games thing. Solely based off of IP based games generally are not good and i feel like if it, they made a hunger games game it wouldn't have been taking the potential of the ip and making a game around it it would have been retelling the first game in probably like the shittiest way possible See, but that's not what that's not what i'm saying i want i'm saying i no, no. i understand what you're saying but when you're yeah. sa- but you said that like the in- game industry missed something i don't think they missed anything because i think what you wanted and would have probably been a good game is not what the game industry would have put out for the game i respect that yeah, you're probably I right. want a Telltale 
story of the Hunger Games, and it's you going through the districts and seeing like and the stories that can be told through that. I think it would have been fire. Mm. I love that world. I have to say, I really don't ask me why, and it makes me cry every time I watch that film. By the way, all of them they make me cry. Don't don't know why. Resonates me of really. Maybe it's because I'm. I'm we're going on a real big tangent here. Yeah. I think it's the whole rich and poor thing. Mm. So Where I can see yeah. myself in District Ten. You know, yeah. I think for me, it's I think they did a really good job of showing the trauma of what happened mm. in the films. I think yeah, so you really feel the pain of like Katniss and everyone. But yeah, mm. an like, element yeah. of the an <laughs> element I don't think they lean enough into in the films that I really liked in the books is like how much of a reality TV show it is. Mm -hmm. mm. I like all the preamble stuff of them. It's, it's like, it is so a parallel to like X Factor and stuff like this, you know, where they're all oh, brought yeah. into the capital and they do mm. the interviews and, you know, they have to go through all this stuff and it matters what they're wearing on TV and all that stuff. It is good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Anyway, that's my, 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 uh, uh, <clears throat> My Hunger Games and me. Um, I, like <laughs> <That's a laughs> Tales from is I don't even know whose turn was it. It is despawns. Oh, okay. Thank you. So this would be my final prediction, right? Yep. 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 So do I go for the easy point or do I go for an interesting I, I one? predicted a Def Jam game. Okay. Yeah. What do you want your legacy to be? Oh. Do you want it to be Sonic? Something Sonic, <laughs> or do you want it to be something Def Jam? Do you know what I mean? Where do you want to? Where do you want to fall in the history books? I think we are gonna get a brand new character added to Tekken, mm. and this is where we get spicy. I think it's going to be Tifa from Final Fantasy VII. I'm back him. There he is. There he is, guys. I'm back him. That could be cool. Would it happen? No, it's probably not, not. Probably not. That's not spicy. That's not. That, that 100 can happen. That will happen at some point in this game's lifespan. That is not a spicy prediction. You think? Yes, because if you follow, uh, what's the name of the guy who made the game? Why am I forgetting it? Harada on Twitter. Harada's talked about it. It's going to happen at some point because it's one of the biggest ones from the Tekken community. Mm. That's not a spicy prediction. I'm not <laughs> letting you get away with that being a spicy prediction. I mean, you can make that prediction. It's not a spicy D spawn. To be fair, it's spicier than my other one. So, you know. <laughs> what's the other one? Can I just, I mean, I just I, actually, let's wait for I'll Matt because you entire, might have this other one. But yeah, I'll make it. the other you one. haven't. You haven't. Go on, throw it out there, despawn. Uh, I was gonna go like uh, the the plainest plane, uh, get another Death Stranding trailer. Oh, that's I uh, had that, yeah. that ran down. Death Stranding yeah. two trailer coming up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, I respect that now. I respect that prediction even more. I respect yeah. the prediction even more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's all you, man. Last one. Uh, be real, a uh, quickly fix. Tifa in Tekken gets you into Tekken at least for a, a little minute. It or gets not. me to watch Tekken. Okay. Fair. It gets me more into Tekken than I am right now. Yeah, fair, fair. fair. Um, so this was an ad hoc prediction and, and it kind of off the back of, let's admit it, my weak last prediction, which ain't going to happen. <laughs> Troy Baker, oh. Todd Howard, Phil Spencer oh. and Jeff Keighley all on stage together to intro some Indiana Jones shit. That's already confirmed, though. Yeah. Is it? Indiana yeah, well, Jones already confirmed to be shown there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. I'll give you the prediction. So your prediction has to really be They're Phil all there Spencer, all of them are on stage. I'll give you that as spicy. But I don't think it is that spicy. If they've mm. already announced that, it, that Indiana Jones is there, what they would happen. be spicy Here's is what I will say with there this. as well, and that ain't happening. So no. Here's what I will say with this prediction is I wouldn't give you any partial points for Indiana Jones. Like Everybody has to be there mm -hmm. for you to get anything from this. But I guess I'll give you a moment to like just, change it. No, no, no. You have if to it's get, just, everybody has to be there. If it's just Todd and Troy, I get some points. Right? I get a little yeah. bit of... No, little no, little no, bit you, of argue, you can argue your case next week. Yeah, yeah you can argue your case. I'll give well, you a moment to like change this prediction if you want to go with something else, if you have anything else. I do have something else. It's not as fun, but like I'm I, now that I know that Indiana Jones is Let confirmed, me hear I did not know that. Um, my other prediction, and, and the reason I didn't bring it up earlier is because I feel like it helps crash his first prediction of like Disney games. I feel like if I was uh, to like predict any other Disney games, I'm just helping crash in a weird way, which doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense in my brain. Um, so it was that we see that game do you remember that game star wars eclipse that was announced fucking four years ago oh, or something yeah. uh, oh, yeah. 
Um, now, the reason that I think that's probably very unlikely is because, one, I'm pretty sure it was announced at Game Awards. I'm pretty sure we would see it again at Game Awards. Um, it's It would be a bold move to announce a new Star Wars game weeks out from the launch of a big Star Wars game that you've been pushing quite heavily. Um, and so I think it's a, a bit of a throwaway nonsense prediction. Um, but I could throw it out there if, if we prefer it to Indiana Jones. I don't know. I'll let you choose which yeah, one you want. You can want. choose. I'll let yeah. you choose, yeah. One of them gives you way more wiggle room, but I don't know, like, if you, that has no chance of being, do you really need the wiggle room, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Keep it indie. Okay. Indie. Indie. Troy. Okay, here's, here's, here's an extra bit of spice for you. Troy, oh Todd Howard, Phil Spencer, at least one of them is wearing an Indiana Jones hat. That's going to be Troy, if anybody. Mm-hmm. I, uh, yeah, that I'm fully aware. Hats. Okay, I like it. I like it. Gretch, read back the prediction to us, please. All right, so fix his predictions. Uh, his first one, something Sonic Hedgehog related. Uh, his second one was the Streets of Rage, Jet Set, uh, Crazy Taxi, Sega Games Pack, more extended games play. You forgot uh, Golden Axe. I said Golden, Golden Axe. Axe. But I, I put the Sega Games Pack so okay. that we know it's the Sega well, Games Pack. Yeah, I yeah, said, yeah. I said Golden Axe. Yeah, I know you said so Golden just, Axe, yeah. Okay. We know, we know. Okay, okay. Uh, next one, PlayStation published first party game. Um, fourth, we will see Resident Evil 9. Number five, which I hope is true. Matt uh, wants Jeff to go Def back. Jam. I'm sorry. Matt, Matt wants to interject. Go Please go, go Matt. Back. New IP from first party PlayStation mm-hmm. Studio. Thank you very much. That's what I said. I, mm-hmm. Did he? Yeah. Yes. No, yeah, he's right. I didn't say I didn't say new IP in my in what, no, what oh, I looked okay, at. Yeah, I would have remembered new IP, new IP but it's yeah, better to caveat. Right. I've tried to right. nickel and dime you out some points here, and I don't want to be nickeled and dimed out of my nickel and dime. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, wow, next, <laughs> Def Jam Icon game. Snoop Dogg comes on stage to announce it. I, I hope this is true. I hope this happens. <laughs> if this happens, I don't care. This is the best showcase ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> weirdly, <laughs> weirdly, I think it's more likely you get Snoop Dogg on stage to announce like a fucking Olympics game or something, even though we're <laughs> been and gone. Like he was yeah. all over the fucking Olympics, having the best time of his life. We mm. didn't get Olympics game, and Did I feel you like it? It's... no. Go on. Yeah, say so. Uh, Sonic don't have the Olympics um, IP anymore, and they opted for a um, Was it an NFT, an NFT, an NFT Ooh. game instead. Ooh, did that actually come out? I believe so. Yeah. No way. The Olympics or Sega? No, Olympics. Olympics, Olympics, not Sega. E- no yeah, they way. Dropped the ball, I wonder how that bro. worked out for them. Bro, I've been watching so Those much. Sonic Sidebank Olympics content. games were so good. Mm-hmm. They were okay. They were good. They were Did fun. you play the last one? I don't know which one I played. The last one I played, I played was on the Wii. I've got them all. No, okay. Yeah, I'm talking about specifically the, the Sonic, Sonic and, no, and no. Olympics games. I, I've got the last Sonic Olympics game on it wasn't good. Switch. Wasn't good. Like even the multiplayer, okay. you couldn't do certain things. Yeah, it was. The, the last, last one I played good, was on Wii, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. The last the actually game. good Olympics game was 2012. Okay. And you can't tell me otherwise. Fair. Sorry, carry on. Argue. Carry on. Maybe that's why they became an NFT. Yeah. I believe they did that. Yeah, that's the NFT craze. This decision had to be made so long ago that it was probably like at the height of NFTs. Where they're like, this is yeah. going to be bang. Yeah. For us. That's crazy um, than the Australian breakdancer. I feel so bad for her. No. Why? No. Have she's you heard about that. that whole situation? No, no. no have you heard please, about that whole on. situation? So, um, breakdancing is uh, like the way that they chose who was going to go breakdancing. They went with like the dancing commission in Australia, which she was part of it, which is more like um, ball dancing and stuff like that, if I'm not mistaken. And oh, so it was only hilarious. 15 people and they didn't let everybody in Australia know. So unless you were in the know, you didn't register. And she was one of the judges for it. And her husband was a judge or something like that. Oh, it's like, that's don't hilarious. feel bad for her. She deserves all the people making fun of her. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. <laughs> Damn. And this is why you. Oh, <laughs> no. 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 Oh, man. About it. You put I yourself mean, out on the world stage like that, then yeah. I mean. But who let. Like her circle of, you know, people who are close to her, they, <laughs> they deserve as much, like, oh, 100%. ridicule you. Who lets your. You couldn't let a loved one go out there and do that. No, a good person wouldn't. Unless, unless there was some thinking of, like, <laughs> it's just it. 15 minutes of fame. Like it's gonna make we're gonna be it's gonna, yeah we're gonna yeah. I'm gonna, gonna be go the viral. next I'm gonna be the next hot yeah, tour girl. You know she, I mean? she got mad that people were making fun of her or something like that. Oh, I don't know how accurate that okay. is. 
Um, yeah. uh, That's what I kind of figured. Like, either right now she's all over Australian TV and she's reveling in it, or is she being a bit of a Karen about it and being like, oh, stop making fun of me. Um, <laughs> that was a great Australian accent, by the way. <laughs> nailed it, nailed it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, I kind of like felt I was bad watching for it, but maybe not anymore. Crash, carry on. Uh, okay, my predictions. <laughs> my first prediction, three Disney games will be shown. My second prediction, Blue Protocol gets a global release date. Uh, third prediction, Everwild exists. It's a real game. It's we not a big game. Okay. <laughs> uh, my fourth prediction, Killer Instinct. You know, we'll see it in some capacity. This one's mm-hmm. guaranteed. I have full faith uh-huh. in Jeff. Uh, and then the fifth one, uh, Contraband uh, shown. Yeah. 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 Next up, Despawn. Red Dead Redemption PC announcement. Uh, released the day of said announcement. Uh, like a Dragon TV show is going to be shown here. Uh, like a Dragon new game announced. Uh, 2KXO open beta announced. Uh, and then a brand new character add in to Tekken, and it is Tifa. Uh, and then Matt. Do you know what? They're not bad predictions, Despawn. All in all, no, I think Despawn, like overall, think, had probably the all, best predictions. All in all, I think they're actually pretty good, yeah. Which is wild for me because I've been scratching my head trying to cover with them for the last two days. Okay, yeah, that's because you you were trying. I... Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, like the last the last few that I had on the list, I was not trying. <laughs> All right, uh, Matt's predictions: Lies of P DLC announcement. This is one that I really hope is true, Huge. and I could see happening. I think this is out of all of Matt's predictions. That's probably like the most likely one. Uh, maybe the next one as well, which is we will see more from Light No Fire. Uh, oh, I'm sure another... Larry will say something stupid. That's part of the prediction. Well, that's part of it? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I, didn't sure. that, I didn't think it was. Okay. So you've nickel and dimed yourself out of a point. Okay, I really have. On. I really have. Because <laughs> yeah. I feel like he's had some actual, uh, yeah, I think he's had some training now. I don't think he's... Uh, Are you serious? You don't think he now. got training after No Man's Sky? He still came out and announced this game and went, it's the most ambitious game ever. I mean, it probably is yeah, the most ambitious game That's not, that's not, that's not, not a crazy statement. To say. Yeah. Our, our most, not the most, if he said the most ambitious game ever created, mm. I would, I mean, we're gonna I would to, be with you. We're going to have to find the direct quote, but I remember thinking at the time, I can't believe somebody let him say that. If I said, my Xbox and me are currently working, and we are in the background, on our most ambitious content as we've ever made. Do you think that's a wild thing to say? We sit here and podcast once a week. Anything more than this is ambitious. 100%. We didn't make No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is already like have. incredibly ambitious. Mm-hmm. We could have in its first date. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Rude. I'm joking. It was Rude. a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I, from what I've seen of Light No Fire, I think that is, I, on paper, I think it is more ambitious. I What I will say that I, I think from his point of view is he's not viewing updates as probably like a full game being made right when he talks about no man's sky he's probably talking about that from the inception to its release date and the incremental updates probably don't cross his mind as like our most ambitious game do you think i think so because hmm. that's the way i view that statement like i think no man's sky has become like this phenomenon but it's been through incremental updates i would have thought as a studio as as you know doing pr for your studio you wouldn't want to really consider no man's sky finished when you launched it right like in the way you talk about it you'd want to be like no man's sky has been a decade-long project where we are now is absolutely phenomenal people love it blah 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 blah, blah. and maybe we'll never be done or whatever oh they're, they're gonna be they don't charge for their dlc they're gonna be done at some point mm-hmm. yeah for sure i think they're done yeah. when light no fire launches but yeah, uh, yeah i'll be on it like Probably. Going off on a tangent, I think that game gets updates as long as those updates make sense from what they're making from like like so the latest update with the water physics and everything like that apparently is all stuff that they worked on from Light No Fire. And they just went, Oh, ah. we can we can transfer that to No Man's Sky. That's cool. So yeah. So it feels like not not in a bad sense, but it feels like they're using No Man's Sky as a really interesting like testing ground for the tech. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. Okay. Which is cool. But yeah. But I, I don't see okay. them saying the most ambitious title ever is out of pocket for them. I don't think that's out of pocket for anyone t- talking about their m- most. 
Every baby. recent game. Yeah, their new yeah. game that they're about to w- release to I the wild. It. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. We'll be the right. judge on the, the, the hyperbole around here, okay? Matt's next prediction. Uh, another look at Crimson Desert and you get a release window for it. Uh, after that, it's Hugh Jackman on stage showing off uh, and they'll show off Wolverine gameplay. No, I would love for this one to be true just because I, I want it. Matt to get an actor prediction. For <laughs> yeah, one, one, day, one day it'll happen. Um, I, I could get some partial points there. Do we do we really think Wolverine ain't going to be at, at this? Or no, at Game I could see it. I could see it. Mm-hmm. I can see it, but I don't it's think a, it's, that, a, it's a Game Awards thing. It's a Game Awards thing. I don't think it's a Game Awards thing either. I think the next time oh. we see Wolverine, it'll be at a PlayStation showcase. Do you think? Dedicated to Wolverine, think, yeah. I don't think they really are dedicated to Wolverine. Yeah. I don't yeah. Think they've, I, so I, not one I, of the, like, here's five sec- five minutes of it. I think it'll be like, here's a 20 minute showcase of Wolverine. Yeah, I agree. But I think you get, I bef- between now and then, I think you get a two minute, three minute gameplay thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, something to wet the whistle, right? And then bring but I, people in. But I think that's a game yeah. awards thing. Yeah, and then it's like, and then it it's you know, then it's Hugh Jackman giving out an award and then linking. That to, would be more likely. Mm. Yeah, that would be more likely. I don't yeah. think it'll happen, but that'll be more. If the game awards were now and Deadpool was out in theater in theaters and they could use that as a marketing opportunity for Deadpool and the Wolverine yeah. game, I think that's more likely. Well, yeah, maybe push him for Oscars at that point, though. Um, digital I don't know. Releases well. he, digital release is a good chat, but I don't know. Do they? So I'm not as in tune with movies. Do they do advertisements like that for Oscars and stuff like that? They do a lot of brand awareness. Is huge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it, it, Oscars is like a big campaign thing. Like you'd be ah, forgiven they, for thinking, oh, yeah. is the movie coming out now? No, the movie came out six months ago, but all those people are doing interviews. It's those like guys are on press hot again, ones they? again. Yeah, 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 exactly. That kind of stuff. Um, the kind of. The, uh, the other thing that this could be is I don't know if that dead uh, not Deadpool Daredevil game was ever even real or if that's coming or whatever but that could be a thing that happens we, were, we all thought well didn't we all think that was the Blade game instead in, in the end could it be Blade, Blade and them? no I no. think we thought uh, it was the uh, Captain America and, uh, oh and, uh, Oh, yeah, because that, that was the You're Amy right. Hennings game that was supposed to be yes. the Daredevil game or whatever. Yeah, You're I right. think I think that game goes quiet for a while. The Captain mm, America one, because mm. mm. uh, I because the last time they talked about that was was it a GDC or something similar? Yeah, to it was GDC. It was GDC. Yeah, yeah. yeah for it's very like thing. it was very insider dev. Hey, look at this cool tech, mm. and then it like blew up and went viral, and I think they didn't expect that. And I think maybe they've gone and retreated a little bit and gone, oh, that's not well, necessarily exactly what this game is, guys. Yeah, but also if you like get those eyes on it, do you really need to do another like showcase to show it off again when you already got like that press for free that you didn't intend to get, right? Sure, and I, and I think that's why they go quiet because I think yeah. you've got to distance yourself from that because I don't think... Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that maybe all the cutscenes in the game will look like that, and that is a true reflection of what that game will be. But I think what they were trying to do is show off some really cool tech that they had in a very narrow, vi- like not even a vertical slice, right? Like in a scene. Yeah. And like, I don't think that is what that game will be. Yeah. Well, it was cool though. It was, it was very cool. cool. It was dope. It was uh, Matt's final prediction Troy Baker, Todd Howard, Jeff Keeley, and Phil Spencer on stage. One of them wearing an Indiana Jones hat to show off the new Indiana Jones game. You know what? I, I just had a thought. Go on. Uh-oh. I thought Troy Baker come out and said it wasn't him. No, it is him. I hope that's not true. I'm, I'm sure, sure he came him. out and confirmed it was him. That's what I thought Carry as well. Carry on talking. Carry on talking. Matt. I don't right. recall who it was. I remember that it, there was some sort of discussion happening around it. In fact, not, not for Matt, I think for everyone else. Do we give Matt double points if everyone comes out wearing an Indiana Jones hat? No. 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 I think, no I double points. <laughs> what, what I, think, I, do I don't know. Small. I mean, he's fairly horribly right. against that you're game. You're right, so. you're right, you're right, you're right. It is Troy. Right, right. It is yeah. Troy. I, I think what we could end up arguing over here is what is an Indiana Jones hat? Because I think Troy Baker no. definitely wears a hat. Yeah, you know what the Indiana Jones hat yeah, is, yeah. Jesus. It's a fedora. We know, we know what an yeah. in India, in India hat is, yeah. It's a, a sand fedora, to be mm. precise. 
They got you on hats. I would have been. I would have given you some wiggle room. Matt. Yeah, don't, don't come for the Indy fan about like, hats. Nah. What if it's a baseball cap with Indiana Jones the Great Circle logo on it? That is Absolutely an Indiana not. Jones hat. No, is it no. not? No, that's not what you were. That's no. not what you were referring to, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. A little preview I, into next week's debates, <laughs> right there for you. I, just, <laughs> I want to say the words as are say an in Indiana Jones hat. It doesn't say Indiana Jones's hat. It says right. a Indiana Jones Where hat. Is this, uh, Here's Matt, the thing. Here's Matt, the thing with this, Matt. I don't know. You want to be celebrated because if he comes out wearing a Indiana Jones hat, like specifically the one he wears in the movies, we could argue that you don't serve the point in that case. Well, I think you'd be ludicrous so, too, and I think the audience would agree. Yeah. What I would say to you, Matt, is: Do you want to put it on paper now? What type of hat it is? And did you no, only say right. an Indiana Jones hat because you didn't know the name Fedora? No. There was there was a part there was a part of me mm-hmm. that. The thought baseball cap, Phil Spencer wearing an Indiana Jones Shut baseball cap. Up, did you? I need you to Wait clarify to this then. In that case, no, this I is don't an want to clarify. I want to argue in next week. <laughs> okay, but okay. Week after you're next. an absolute bloody liar. Ludicrous. Are we done, Crush? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the end of it. That's all of them. Thank God. Look, that is our predictions for Open Night Live. Like we said before, there will be a reaction stream from the one and only Two Fresh Crash. I will try my absolute best. If the internet is good in my hotel, of course I will be reacting alongside him with my AirPods in. I'm not bringing my laptop. I want to make it perfectly clear. I am not carrying that hunk, that big hunk of junk with me. It's not junk. It's in a great computer. Thank you, Intel. Um, but it's very heavy. Um, <laughs> So I'm not bringing that with me. I am on full vacation mode. So just putting that out there. Boys, have we got anything to plug? Despawn, what are you going to be up to? What's going on in your life? Nothing much. Uh, I'm taking. I'm also taking a little work vacay uh, to a little place called Gamescom. Uh, so yeah, so I will be out there doing some editing. Um, I will also, you know, if if the boss lets me have some free time to walk the floor, I might film a thing or two while I'm there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Diabolical, we'll, I know. We'll see if I let you out of the, the closet that I was I've gonna booked say. you to stay in yeah. so that you can edit. Yeah. Uh, call me Harry Potter for the week. Um, just, just me under the Gamescom stairs. But yeah, no, I'll be at Gamescom uh, with the, the future team. So yeah, we'll be doing some cool stuff over there. Uh, and yeah, keep an eye out on the future game show. <gasps> Matt, you want a plug? You want a little My Xbox and Me exclusive? <gasps> no, if oh you're going to get fired. No. Me. It might get me fired. We'll no. see. No, 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 it won't. It won't. It won't. No. So, <laughs> next Tuesday is opening night live. Next Wednesday is the Future Game Show showcase, and of course, the expansion pack that I produce will be going live after that. That's the official post show where we talk about a whole, whole bunch of stuff. You might even see a familiar face on it. Go on, MC Fix. When, when am I going to be on this? One day. One day. You, you got blacklisted after you did. Game Master, we won't hire you anymore. Wait, what? <laughs> That's a joke. Uh Crash, what are you going to plug this week, dude? Podcast reviews. I spoke to my fellow Americans last week <laughs> for a review, and we got one. Um, oh, shit. I just oh. want to specify this is not me. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Me. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. The title of the review better than unlocked two exclamation marks this came on sunday five stars the title of the person who left it <laughs> promise you it's not me is definitely not crash brilliant i want you brilliant. all to know it is not me okay okay i mean that it's i mean not okay. me. what you're insinuating then is somebody in the audience made a new apple account no, they probably took it. No, 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 you they just put, you put whatever spot, name you want. Oh, can, yeah, can you put okay, whatever I name you want? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's yeah. fun. Uh, the actual review is really enjoy listening to a show that is just about fun and games. No hidden agenda to deal with. Keep up the mostly great work. Wow. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> wait. I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need an edit on that and then a clarification. Was it five stars? It's five stars. I don't, oh, you don't right. need yeah, to do it. It's yeah, five right. stars. Oh, no, you're fine. You say what you want. Yeah. 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 The mostly scared me. I thought it might be a, a four, a four. Or three, you know? That would have hurt. That would have hurt. No, it's five. It's five. Oh, that's correct. So, thank you to you, Chris. You have anything to say to your fellow Americans? Wait, wait. I've got the bone for this. I've got a bone for this. Let's go. 
I want all my fellow Americans to know that today you guys made me proud to live in America. <laughs> and I cannot wait to see what future reviews you guys bring to our doorstep for this wonderful podcast to show that we are better than our counterparts across the seas. Carry on, Americans. Right, now there's footage of all of us saluting while he said that. That's mm -hmm, great. Mm -hmm. We like that. We like yeah. that. Let me send it to the king real quick. Hey, Spawn. Mm -hmm. Give me my one. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, I've, got, no. I've, I've got one of these. There we go. Oh. Go. Everybody in the UK. We know what's going on in the world right now. There's racist riots out there. There's people kicking each other. There's people smashing out shops. And what I want you all to do is smash up more shops and grab those iPhones. We don't care. We do not support racists in any way, shape, or form. No to the racists, but up the podcast reviews, everybody. Up the podcast reviews. Oh. If you see someone in the street, you say to them, hey, mister. I need to borrow your phone and review the greatest Xbox podcast in the world, my Xbox and me. How it's the people. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Do not feel great about that one. No, Oof. that one, that one, that one. Yeah, that was that, like, that's gonna come I with a man gonna... your review. Just so that we end on a bit of a high decent one. Can I get my one? Yeah, oh, yeah, God. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. I, wait, do I have one for you? I mean, you never show up, so I can't oh, I'm not even ah. set up for it. No, you're good. You go, oh. go. Damn. Uh, well, uh, Fix cut me off while I was plugging, and I never gave oh, you that exclusive. Sorry, my bad. So I was going to jump back in with a more light hard exclusive, and I'm really just trying to vamp now to get away from the stuff that Fix said. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, also for Gamescom, so on the Wednesday night, we got the showcase. Thursday and Friday night, we will be doing two more live shows Two hours of content a night, us diving deeper on games that you've seen in Open and Night Live, games that you've seen in the Future Game Showcase, chatting to devs, chatting to you lot on the show floor, maybe, doing really cool stuff. We've got genuinely really cool stuff lined up for it. I'm stressed out to my friggin' eyeballs. Despawn's been helping me on the down low. It's going to be great. There's some genuinely really good stuff in there. Um, if you want to hear from devs and you want deeper dives on games, uh, check out Future Game Show on YouTube Thursday and Friday next week for Gamescom. Grab somebody's iPhone out there on these streets, people. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're through the podcast. Until next time, we'll love you, leave you, and see you all later. Shout out the Brits! Fuck the racists! Yeah. Fuck the racists! Fuck the racists! <laughs> oh, I can stand by that. <laughs> <laughs>